In Washington, Republicans are demanding an investigation into a job offer to Congressman Joe Sestak of Pennsylvania. Sestak confirmed yesterday that he was approached by former President Bill Clinton about an unpaid position in the Obama administration if he withdrew his Democratic primary challenge to Senator Arlen Specter. Sestak declined the offer and beat Specter this month. To help us put the Sestak affair and the rest of the week in focus, we are joined in Washington now by political analyst John Dickerson. Uh, John, this is a White House that promised a new era of political transparency. So how much long-term damage does this do? Well, now that they've given an answer about what actually happened, the damage will probably be lessened. It was that transparency that forced the White House to come out and say something when first asked about it. The White House said, oh, trust us, nothing wrong was done. The people who talked to Sestak didn't do anything illegal. Well, the president had promised to do better than that, and on Friday he did. They let out the details, and so now they're hoping it will just quietly go away. So speaking about the legalities, that's the question being asked. Were any laws broken here? The White House says no. There are actual laws that say you can't offer somebody something to get out of a race. The White House says no law was broken because in this case, President Clinton doesn't work for the White House and the job he offered was an unpaid advisory role. Republicans aren't buying that, but they don't own the levers of power to actually force an investigation. So it might just die there. John, I want to talk, uh, go back to what's happening in the Gulf right now. And the question is, is there any way this president looks good while oil is still spilling in the Gulf? Well, on that fundamental question, no, because he had, doesn't have control for shutting off that flowing oil. But the way he can mitigate that political problem is to deal with the other areas, to be quick on the draw with the cleanup, with dealing with all of these claims that are going to be coming in, with staying on British Petroleum, and then finally in dealing with laws to make sure this doesn't happen again. John Dickerson joining us, as always, from Washington. John, thank you very much. Thanks, Jeff.